You guys seeing this set? This is one of the nicer looking sets we've gotten in World. And I'd say this is even one of the nicer sets we've gotten in Monster Hunter, in general. Please, at some point, let us get this as a layered option, because it's too clean. It's too clean. But not only is this set nice fashionably, it's actually a pretty decent set. Let's talk about it. So first, really quickly, I want to talk about how you even get this set, because a lot of players haven't even seen it, which makes sense because it is the arena set for Master Rank. High Rank had one as well, it was the Guild Cross set, but this time around, we have the Guild Palace set. There are a lot of players who don't really do arena, so this set is probably easy to miss. So naturally, you'll need to do some arena quests to get this set. You get the Tigrex coins from the Tigrex and Brute Tigrex quest, the Zenogre coins from the Zenogre quest, Black Bolt coins you can get from any of the arena quests, numbers 1 through 5, and I had the best luck with the Narcocuga quest, and the Hunter King coins you can get from any arena quests, numbers 6 and 7. So while getting your Zenogre and Tigrex coins, you can also get your Hunter King coins, which is pretty nice. And lastly, each piece will require pieces from 5 different Elder Dragons. Luckily, it's none of their rare drops, and it's just pretty common drops, like the Crown Horns from Volcana, Tail's Tremaine, Tail's Hardclaw, Namiel's Fellwing, and Shards from Black Veil vale Vahazak. Now what does this set give? The skills are Agitator, Heroics, Health Boost, Offensive Guard, and Resuscitate. The levels depending on whether it's Alpha or Beta. It also has two set bonuses, a two-piece and a four-piece, Good Luck and Car Ring Master. So as a full set, it's okay. Obviously, it looks nice all together. And with both Good Luck and Car Ring Master, this could be a good set to wear if you're really struggling to get that mantle or that gem and so on. But what I really appreciate about this set is one, how easy it is to make these individual pieces, and two, its mix set potential. If you're not MR100, or you haven't delved deep into the Guiding Lands yet to unlock certain monsters' gear and max out your Challenger charm, or if you just have some really bad RNG, then pieces of the set can help you fill some of those gaps. Most notably the chest, arms, and legs. Again, if you haven't been able to max out your Agitator charm, then both the chest and the waist are pieces you can use to help you fill that gap. If you've been really unlucky with trying to get Offensive Guard decos, even though they're probably one of the more common combo decos in the game, and the beta arms are a really nice piece, offering 2 points, plus a level 4 and a level 1 deco slot. You can even make some variations to the meta sets using some of these pieces, if, again, you're missing some specific decos, or you haven't maxed out your charm. And lastly, if players start messing around with heroics, then pieces of this set might be useful for trying to make a mix set with heroics in it. Well, alrighty y'all, that's it. I think this set is totally worth making. As soon as you get to Master Rank and have fought the Elder Dragons, I think you should go and make this set. Pretty damn easy to make in terms of requirements and where you're at in the game. It has some nice mix set potential. And lastly, and probably the most important reason, it just looks nice as hell. I mean, come on, look at it. Maybe if everyone starts using it, they'll make it a layered option. I mean, we got a nice cape. We got freaking, what is this, fur lining? This set is bougie as hell. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Every, like, we need this as a layered option, please. Alrighty, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.